Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. I've got this uh, Satechi four port uh, cigarette lighter a uh, while back and uh, figured I'd finally get it installed. What I did, since I'm on uh, kind of some old fence boards here in my patio, I, I made up a little sheet metal plate that's about the same size as the uh, the outlet adapter and just screwed that to the wood and then the the, the um, adapter comes with a double stick tape on the bottom and it's got uh, you can actually rotate it so to get the screws in I have to rotate it screw it in and uh, again this is just kind of a temporary setup I'm not uh, gonna keep everything here although this this I might it has a USB port and I had been using uh, this little adapter here that's a two outlet plus USB and instead I can now use this little guy seems to give me uh, five five volts out and I plug in uh, what I've got here connected to this cable is a home energy monitor that monitors uh, some of my uh, inverter outputs. They have a couple of current taps and it needs uh, USB power. Uh, it also has battery backup but uh, USB allows it to run or report power all the time. So that's one thing I need here. So that will stay there. That gives me four ports and then I can do things like plug in my IMAX B6 which is on that plug. The neat thing now is I don't have to swap plugs all the time I can just turn on a switch. So that is pretty neat and then I'll probably plug in my little uh, AA, AAA battery charger. Oh, okay yeah it is turning on and off it just doesn't the display doesn't light up uh, unless you have a battery in there. So that works, and then the one other thing I was going to do is I had picked up this uh, EC Technology 5-port uh, USB adapter, or it's actually a USB charging hub. It needs a lighter plug, so now I've got an extra lighter plug here. Let's see if we can make room for this. Get everybody in here. Yeah, there we go. We got a. I don't know if you can see that on camera there, but there's a little, little blue light. Yeah, I'll have to come up with some way. That's the only thing I don't particularly like about this. There's no real easy way to mount it. I'll probably have to. Uh, I guess if I stand it up there, I might put a little, uh, maybe uh, do the same thing I did on the lighter outlet box. Put a uh, piece of metal that I can screw down and then maybe put some uh, Velcro tape on there so I can just stick it in place. Because it doesn't come with any mounting brackets or hardware. And it looks like that would probably be the way to go. And then I've got one other, oh, here we go. One other thing is my little camcorder battery charger, which is right down here. So I can plug that in too. I'll clean up all these cables. Oh, the IMAX timed out. So I guess if you don't plug in a battery, it's got a timeout. That'll give folks, you know, if you are looking to do a, a solar-powered USB charging station, you can do something like this. You get one output, or you can uh, add one of these EC technology uh, charging hubs and get, uh, you know, three one-amp and two two-amp outputs. And you do it, uh, you know, no need, there's no inverters required. Initially, it had gone with a two-out USB and then had that feeding a hub to get 
more outputs, but here I can get five directly, and uh, they're higher power to boot. So, yeah, for fifteen dollars, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good little device. Five ports for fifteen dollars, and uh, I think that'll do the trick. So, anyway, I will uh, kind of get back to you. I'll try to update this once I get some current measurements. I can run my at night, I can see the uh, the change in current on my trimetric meter. It's hard to do during the day because the charge controller kind of blanks out the any increase in current. It'll boost the solar panel output, so it's hard to uh, you can't get any accurate measurements. But yeah, I will uh, update you when I get some power readings and see how this all works.